Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds to make millions of dollars. I wouldn't risk not liking it. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Badge Plug. And today, so much is going on throughout the NBA 2K community. It's insane. So strap in and watch this entire video because I promise you're not going to regret it. So if you all know about my video yesterday, this is obviously old gameplay. But with patch 10, the explosive behind the back was removed. And it's basically split the community down the middle but we have something even more important to talk about that so this dude tweeted out explosive behind the back patched i understand it's an op move but come on there's a tournament with two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the line in 72 hours and you take away literally the most effective thing in the game making all entrants completely change up their play style 2k still being 2k i guess now you might not really care that there's a $250,000 my team tournament that was going on, but this also has to do with a few other things that we're gonna talk about. So in this tournament, which was for $250,000 and 2K just removed the behind the back, which I don't think they should have done that right before the tournament, but that's not even really what this is about. I just wanted to string this together. The people who were losing in the tournament, y'all, Every single person who was losing in the morning games, they said, were getting banned. Check it out. They banning everyone who lost, question mark. Then we got another guy right here. Nice. That's all he says. Then we got another person who was banned by 2K. Damn, 2K. Y'all had it out for me. What did I do? I just want to sell my cards. And another ban. At GG, LOL, see ya on 2K21. So that's four people that were in the tournament for $250,000. And when they lost the tournament, their accounts were banned on NBA 2K20. So for some reason, 2K was out here banning people who lost in the tournament. And these people don't even know why they're getting banned. So even though it's 2K, I'm still mind blown. Like I never would have expected that. I mean, 2K is like that all the time. You never would expect the dumb things they do, but banning people who lose in their tournament, that's crazy. But anyway, Phantom said, LD2K, why don't you guys stream this? That would bring the community together if done well. And he responded and said, I'm not in charge of that. That's marketing. Not sure why there wasn't a stream, but I'm right there with you. We'll have full in-depth coverage and analysis of this week's blah, blah, blah for the community. So they're going to have highlights and stuff on the 2K TV. But y'all, a $250,000 tournament, this isn't Fortnite where they probably do that like every week. No, this is an extremely rare thing that I didn't even know about until I seen that tweet about 2K taking the behind the back out 72 hours before the tournament. They didn't even stream it. They did not even stream a $250,000 tournament, y'all. 2K is on something, bro. They are really honestly just crazy. I don't I don't get them at all. Okay, y'all, we're going to have a little tone shift here, but I took a little break from making the video, and I came back to Kobe Bryant passing away, as well as his daughter and two other people that were on the plane. So I just want to say RIP Kobe Bryant, um, and you know everybody on the plane, my condolences go out to them. And, you know, my brother's name is literally Kobe, like from Kobe Bryant. It's my dad's favorite basketball player. So obviously he has a big impact on me and my family. Um, you know, Kobe's one of my favorite players of all time. You never threw anything into the trash without saying Kobe. And uh, just to end it off, you know, it's a sad day for basketball, but not only basketball. Kobe Bryant was a great person. And even if you don't enjoy watching basketball or, you know, whatever, Kobe Bryant was a great person to role model. He was a hardworking person. He had great ethics. He was always grinding. And he's definitely someone to look up to and, you know, try and motivate yourself. So life is not guaranteed every single day, y'all. It really isn't. You don't have to comment down below. Rip Kobe in the comment section. You can if you want. I'm not going to tell you guys to do that. But, um, you know, it's really sad. It's really, really sad. And I'm just going to try and finish out this news video. But, you know, I just I had to say it real quick because it's just really sad. Yo. I don't know what else to say. It's tough. It's really I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. But anyway, let's get into the next news. All right. Real quick, before we continue on, I just want to tell you guys that, you know, this video wasn't supposed to be about Kobe Bryant. It's still not about Kobe Bryant. But I just wanted you guys to understand my respect that I have for Kobe like, I probably maybe would not even be here today if it wasn't for Kobe Bryant. You know, he's part of the reason why I love basketball. And like I told you guys, it's my brother's name. Literally, that's my brother's name. He, you know, is my dad's favorite basketball player. And he's obviously got a big part in my life. But anyway, man, I just took a break for a second and I was looking at stuff. And I just want to say I really, really appreciate you guys. Look at this. 206,000 views in 23 hours and 40 minutes. 200 thousand views on my last video y'all about me getting banned y'all showed so 
much support last year when i got banned you know it was like half and half there was people hating but there was also people showing love but this year 15,000 likes maybe even 16,000 by the time you watch the video bro y'all showed so much love and i'm just literally speechless y'all like words cannot describe how much i appreciate it after i seen that news i had to you know take a break i had to sit down and i just i was looking at stuff and i'm so appreciative of all the love you guys gave me on that video and all the hashtag free badge plug and all that stuff you guys have been saying i mean obviously there's going to be people that take out their deepest insecurities on me and people that you know taking out things that's happening in their life on me like ha 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 you got banned and you know stuff like that but 99 percent of the comments was straight love all the comments on twitter pretty much were straight love and it's insane i really do appreciate it y'all 2k tried to take me out and all it did was make us stronger it made us come together and i've seen how much you guys really do support me so anyway nadex said cleared when i'm number one lol so he was number one in the basketball gods event that was happening yesterday and someone cleared the park or delayed it or fried it or whatever you want to call it and he was kicked out now i am a person who was also affected by a delayer or a fryer whatever you want to call it i should have won basketball gods the other day like a few weeks ago i was on like a 20 streak there was like an hour left in the event and a delayer cleared the park and you know there went my chances for winning so any Anyway, the explosive behind the back has divided the community down the middle. People are saying it shouldn't have been taken out. People are saying it should have been taken out, right? But this YouTuber posted a screenshot of DMs with Da Caesar. If you guys don't know who he is, I'll explain in a second. He said, why y'all take out behind the back? And he said, don't worry, we're bringing it back. So I don't know if this is a fake DM or not because I don't understand why he would do that in the first place, this YouTuber, because he has a few thousand subs, so he should be at least a little credible, right? But Da Caesar is like the OG of 2k this man has worked at 2k for over like 10 years i think now um and i just don't see why he would fake that dm and that's his exact at right there so i don't know but in this next tweet you guys are gonna see it really does question that statement on if that tweet was real or not or those dms because ja bridgeforth tweeted out i just talked with at baluba and he informed me that the explosive behind the back that was recently removed from 2k20 will be added back into the game in the next patch he said it should happen soon now that was catching a lot of traction on twitter and chris manning ld2k got a hold of it and said not sure where you got this from but this isn't consistent from what i've heard from the gameplay team and t jack responded and said well can you tell them to give us the day one behind the backpack at least and ld said they evaluate options trust me and they're looking at all the feedback so i want you guys to comment down below and let me know do you think yes or no or maybe give you me a deep opinion on how you feel about it but should the behind the back return to nba 2k20 or should it stay out of the game for the rest of the year speaking of the new patch a lot of youtubers had something to say about it grinding df said since we patch and stuff might as well patch in some affiliations you know what i'm saying joe no said might as well add those new pie charts y'all were talking about and duke dennis said since 2k fixing and patching everything how about giving us a new park they not gonna do that though like come on man where is the pie charts that we were promised right but anyway toxic said why take the behind the back out and the move itself isn't an issue the stun is what should be removed and i completely agree now i'm not saying that the behind the back should be in nba 2k20 because i could honestly care less whether it's in the game or not i still got plenty of combos the only thing that really affects me is that now i have less combos because you could do so many combos with the behind the back but the real problem with the behind the back y'all if you pay attention to the community was not the speed of it or anything it was the tight handles that froze your defender for like a whole second or two in the middle of doing the move but anyway that's something for another day for the real ones but this dude who was in the 2k tournament said when have i ever shot six for 22 bro six for 22 now someone quote tweeted that i think he was like a pretty big youtuber and he was like this dude is the best shooter in my team right he was playing in the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar tournament and he went six for 22 so supposedly the tournament was extremely delayed and people were not being able to play like normal because of the delay now surprising right but this actually isn't a new thing between 2k and events that have a lot of money on the line supposedly last year in the 2k e-league there was lots of games that were delayed how do you have a LAN event that is delayed so i don't even know man 2k is just on a whole nother level of just being a trash company but anyway cash nasty was receiving some dms from a fan on instagram 
And he had this to say, fix your posture, looking like a damn girl, Cash, I'm on your head, boy. And he said, you got pretty in the front of your name. And the dude responded with laughing, crying faces. So that's not a shot directly at Pretty Boy Fredo, but I mean, that's where everyone got that, right? That's how 99% of people that have pretty in their name got that from. And I don't know, maybe that says something about how he feels about Pretty Boy Fredo, we don't know, but let me know in the comment section how you feel about that. That is it for the video today, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I got a little bit more news, but I'm not sure if it's interesting enough. Maybe it'll be in the next video if I even have another 2K video or a 2K news video. So anyway, guys, make sure you show me that support by dropping a like on the video. It's your boy, Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Drop a like if you haven't yet, and I'm out. Peace.